As an industry, we've been through such an important time for health and fitness. Yes, there's a big argument for for the prevent uh, for the what is it called, like the cure, the, the the medical industry and the pharmaceutical industry. Yeah, that's great, just as there is in 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 everyday life. But there's also a massive opportunity for fitness to be um, being a lot more at the at the forefront. And I, and I guess in your experience, and I understand you've done some stuff with the. Um, what do you call it? The hill? Is that the term? That yeah, the Capital Hill. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. I'm, I'm yeah. kind of learning the, the Mr. Jingo. UK over here. <laughs> so, in the hill. Mr. Yeah. Brexit. Mr. Brexit. No, on the hill. On, on the, the hill. hill. On, on the, the hill. hill. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not like in the hood. <laughs> no, no, not yeah. <laughs> In the hood. In on the, the hood. Hill. On the hill. <laughs> So, so like, do you, is, is there work to be done there to be able to kind of push that message through and, and to have more of a voice as opposed to, you know, it does seem to be one directional. It's like, okay, get your jabs and, and stay at home and do all that kind of stuff. Could there be something else to balance that out? Absolutely. Think? And it's why, um, you know, we're working with the Physical Activity Alliance, people like MyZone, to talk about exactly on Capitol Hill you know, how we can get these people more engaged in a direct staff way, right? And then the staff bring it to their bosses. So a thousand percent getting Congress involved and engaged and educated on fitness. I'll tell you, there is a Congressional Doctors Caucus, and I and I know some of those members on that caucus, and they get it, of course, right? Mm -hmm. And so how do we get those <clears throat> members of Congress talking to their colleagues about mm -hmm. why, you know, exercise matters and and that you know we are a more affordable solution than the four the trillion dollars that we have in healthcare mm. costs. And so, is it an education problem? Is it the fact that the people that are making these decisions are not educated, or is it that there's uh, there's <coughs> stronger lobbying <laughs> in other areas? <laughs> that if we're being honest, <laughs> yeah, it's, okay. it's both. It's both. Okay. Um, you know, so there is a lack of education, and we'll be able to do that, no problem. But it's, it is about money. But the reason being, and and it, money, it makes the whole process sound ugly, but it's not. Because what happens is you you think you're a member of Congress. There's 435 members of Congress, okay? I talked to my friend um, in the height of the pandemic, and she represented a small little district in New Hampshire, not even somebody in an L.A. district or a New York district. And she said, we're getting fifty to 60,000 calls a week for one tiny little district, right? How do you differentiate yourself from that? So, I mean, it's great to make the phone calls. They're important. But how is this member of Congress going to weed through all that? Well, you got to get in front of them. Well, mm -hmm. how do you get in front of them? You support their campaign, and then you're in front of them, <laughs> right? And even then, it, I mean, there are thousands of lobbyists and people that mm -hmm. are doing that. But then you do that in a more personal way. You, you know, they have fundraising trips that you go on. And so you, and it <clears> sounds <throat> hoity-toity, but it's truly like if you go on a golf trip with a member of Congress and you're with a member of Congress for three days golfing, Guess what? Like when I need somebody, they remember me because they haven't, you know. How's your golf game? Yeah, it's pretty good. It's pretty good, I'll tell you. Yeah, so I mean, not as good now because our, our Ursa pack is, we're just in the building stages, but like those, there's smart ways to spend the money. And it's, mm -hmm. you know, and you do it so that you can have a relationship. And I've, I've told this story before, and it's not a, like, this is not a quick pro quo, whatever that phrase is, but. Mm. In candy, we had this go on where I had a relationship with Senator Duckworth in Illinois. Illinois is a big candy producing state. And because we had supported her, because she supported us over time, we never really asked her for anything, but I kept staying in front of her, staying in front of her through PAC dollars because we want her to get reelected. Well, I was, the day before I was scheduled to be on a one-on-one -on -one Zoom with the senator, the governor had said, well, we want candy manufacturing to take a pause in manufacturing because of COVID. And, um, and I went, well, that's not happening. And so I talked to the senator next day. I said, senator, hey, your governor is like trying to get crazy with us. And she said, okay, let me make a phone call. <laughs> and then boom, like candy manufacturing remained essential in Illinois. Wow. That was a relationship, right. right? And I had that relationship because I had the funds to be able to stay in front of her. It was the, the reality. She's dangerous. I really like her. This yeah. plan might just work. <laughs> I also didn't realize that that was like, it, so it's it, essentially, it's all about who you know, really. If you God know bless right America, people. welcome. <laughs> yes. It's, yeah, it's who you know and how well you and know how, them. Yeah. And, you know, and, and, and so it's why what we've done in the last year and a half has been phenomenal, yeah. like to get in front of them and to be known and to have 
half of our states having state alliances, right, that are active and, and creating councils and meeting. And then we've just launched the 435 project, which I'm so excited about, awesome. which is a project to have one fitness representative from all 435 congressional districts across the country so that when we have an issue or something comes up, boom, we and hit the button and then you're the captain Congress. of that district <laughs> and you activate your gyms and you activate everybody in that district and then we, we you know, package it all up and take it to their member of Congress. And, you, and, you know, and now, boom, you've just done you know, 50,000 phone calls with right. one captain. Yeah. So I'm really excited about that. This is making New Zealand feel very small. <laughs> I could almost ring the four and a half million people that live here. <laughs> <laughs> Cool, cool. I mean, yep. Wow. So that's a, that's a bit of a so really it, it's okay from what you're doing is you've you've kind of got the people that um, the suppliers and the connections and the relationships on one side, but then the other part is is developing and, and building a team to develop relationships. So you've got more weight with the people that make the decisions about how fitness is viewed and how much kind of you know how much airtime it kind of gets in a lot of these initiatives. Yep. What did you think about them kind of not making fitness essential through that? Do you think that was the right thing to do? Or, you know, if it happened again, you know, what, what, what do you do things? Uh, like? You know, there's, there's a lot of frustrations in politics. And, um, you know, as somebody who's been doing this my whole life, you have to um, just be aware of that. And so actually, as positive of a person I am when it comes to politics, I'm actually fairly pessimistic. And I'm always... <laughs> Pleasantly surprised if they, or if realist they, maybe, you know, if, if they do something. This was going to be an uphill battle from the get go for us to get relief because we weren't there on day one. Mm. Who? And, yeah, <laughs> Who? What? Yeah. yeah, you know. And so again, we organized as quickly as we could. We came to the table as most effectively as we could, and that was great. And we built a great foundation. But ultimately, at the end of the day, it wasn't enough. And I'll tell you, if you want to get real specific, the why, without getting all wonky and nerd on you, but it came down to needing 10 Republican senators that were going to vote for this omnibus package, not just Jim's relief, mm -hmm. the entire package. Mm -hmm. um, now you need some real champions if they real are grunt. going to, to, to make a, a, a vote like that for one sort of pet issue, mm -hmm. if you will. Right. And we just didn't have it. Mm -hmm. And, and, you know, now I'm not even sure if the restaurants have it, frankly. And, mm. you know, in the restaurant association, they've been around for a hundred years and they're, you know, a, Two hundred million dollar organization. So, so we'll see who remains like to get in. Um, but it was not all for naught by by any means. It um, and it and we are on the map and we are on the radar with these people. And so, we've got members of Congress that are going to be pissed off that are going to want to do something. And so, we've got the Fit Act already ready to go. The mm -hmm. Fit Act is something that would allow your health savings account dollars to be used to join gym memberships. And so there's a great appetite for that. And so we can just pivot this energy to that mm -hmm. and, and, you know, and then ride it out, ride it out from there and then go beyond. I mean, mm. it fits like pretty narrow and, but you know, you got to start somewhere. You got to have a win. Um, you know, you got to have a win, but they're hard to get. So that's why it's important to be working it at the state level uh, where, where state wins are a little bit easier than, than federal and federal takes time. Takes, yeah. takes a lot of time. And then when you get wrapped up in something like an omnibus package that is impacted by Ukraine and Russia, yeah. mm, you know, tough. Tough to have your, you know, your voice heard through that. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the U.S. Politics 101. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is how we do it. Yeah. We're all in this together. Yeah. <laughs> just a not. mess. Just a mess. Yeah. <laughs> Now you're officially an American. I am an American. <laughs> You've got your papers. I have. I'm staying. You are. I'm staying. Last we're month. We're stuck with you. You're stuck I with me. It. Yes. Oh, Congrats. Cheers. Cheers. Yes. yes. <laughs> okay. That's great. Amazing. Amazing. So what can we expect now for the next sort of 12 to, to 18 months then? You've got, you've done. Please stay. Yeah, let's let's yeah. start with that. Yeah. <laughs> Please stay. Hopefully you. you're going. going to be around. But, yeah. Um, yes. Well, I have a three-year contract, so you're stuck with me for, for a little while. Um, listen, we're going to continue to push new policy fronts and to build this coalition of, of people on Capitol Hill that all want the same thing. 
So that's going to be really exciting. And we're going to have a phenomenal trade show. Mm-hmm. We're going to announce a rebrand, a rebirth Ooh. of this org- you know, of this yeah. organization's industry. Mm-hmm. And I have kind of a crazy idea on how it's going to happen. I'm calling it the opening ceremonies okay. of the of the Ursa show. Okay, good. And um, and it will involve a handful of voices okay. from the industry. Good. If I'm if I get my way. Yeah. Um, I, I, sure. I feel like she'll <laughs> get her way. I mean, good luck going up again. <laughs> That. <laughs> yeah. Um, you know, and then we'll sort of, and then we got to get ready for, we got, you know, San Diego, you know, after that, well, we, but like, but we're not only about a trade show. Yeah. Trade show, major revenue, you know, maker for us and it takes a lot of, a lot of effort, but I'm just excited to build out our policy future and to build these coalitions and to create a conversation around health and that mm-hmm. it were a part of it and to, and to create the identity because nobody has done it and nobody has certainly brought everybody together. And, and there's been a lot of organizations, people, energy that have felt left behind. And, you know, I, I, it's a new day and it's why I want everybody in the tent. And even if we ha- can't figure out necessarily what that means, let's get creative. Let, let's figure out whatever joint memberships and joint partnerships and all of that, um, you know, because I'm not threatened. I, I, don't, I don't, I don't, I don't think that any of that is a threat to our existence. <laughs>